Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 81 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> and today we're going to be getting into some more industrial ore going and trying to get the ore laser going. <laughs> so let's hop into it. Um, yes. <laughs> I was trying to finish off some automation for the flux. Uh, like the only reason I would need more flux than what I have right now is if uh, <clears throat> I really want to uh, increase the size of these storage. Uh, I'm just wondering if this is the best way to store the energy or the cheapest way to store the energy. It's probably not. So I might think of something else other than just the gargantuan one. Uh, so yeah, so it, I might have to automate the flux with integrated dynamics, so I might have to get into integrated dynamics if I want the flux fully automated. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so uh, we need an ore laser base and four laser drills. Then, of course, we'll need power for it. But I should have... Uh... Okay, I already got the recipes for this thing going. So I should just be able to one-click my ore laser base. Oh, I did get the iron ore. I knew I was going to need that. So <clears throat> I went and made a... Uh... A silk touch module for my mining gadget so I could go out and get the actual ore because uh, I didn't have any way to to get it otherwise okay or laser base now we should be able to do it and look it's gonna pull out the pink slime and do all the things Did you go oh it's uh yeah, sometimes I'm, I just can't pull things out. It just starts bugging out. Uh, G. So, can't, okay, sometimes I just have to close it out, open it back up, and whatever is going on goes away, and I can pull my stuff out. But I'm just worried that one of these times it's not going to uh, do the thing that I want it to do. Okay, laser drill. Four. Start. Now, I don't think that the laser base can be upgraded, but I think the laser drills can. So we might want to get some upgrades for those. So let's get four of each of the upgrades and and that's going to take a while because <laughs> uh, it has to do each one individually. Uh, where are our... There they are. Oh, see, it, it did it again. And look, at it just keeps putting silicon in there. I think it's too much. Too much for the poor refined storage system. Let's see. Being able to click on the things. All right, I believe we need a place to store things. Uh, so we're, I, I think I just want to use an ender chest on top. 
and then we'll have to all oh, great <laughs> we'll have to uh, recolor that one uh, oh, dude I only got two more okay so feel this is very frustrating <laughs> Um, yeah, and it just, I don't know, I thought some of the problems with it was, um, because I forgot to chunk load my, uh, compact machines, but I went in and I, I chunk loaded them like a good person, and it doesn't seem to be helping. All right. Oh, I forgot. I had chopped down some mineral trees, so <laughs> it's on Bell, not mine. Okay, so also we're going to need a point. Lux point. Yes. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that's necessary? Uh, we're gonna have yeah we'll want a network uh, and we'll want a new uh, compact machine we want to use um, and let's get our network network Shoot one of those. Uh, hopefully I don't go too crazy and run myself out of, uh, I don't run myself out of ancient debris. Oh, come on. Okay. And now a, this crap, uh, a transmitter. There we go. Um, trying to think, uh, we're also going to need, oh wait, need that here, some power cables and some, uh, high storage cables. Uh, that should be all we need. Um, so I think I'll just kind of put it in this room right here. Uh, we got... Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> so, this is the one that has uh, all of the industrial foregoing things and automations in there. And this one, oh, I think this is the one I actually set up for it. Um, about that. <clears throat> That's fine uh, because I want to do uh, a fluid laser base in another one um, with stasis chamber. So having the extra compact machine is not the end of the story. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and put our transmitter down. Exactly, and I need to get out my personal shrinking device uh, because you can get in without personal shrinking device, but you can't get out. <laughs> well, I guess if I had a teleportation device, um, that might that might do the trick. So. I need to right click the card to link it and then look it back out and link this guy up into here. Nice. <laughs> uh, just use the device. 
You have to right click on it with an empty hand and then you can do the stuff and things. All right, so now we can get, yes, our crafting grid. And if that way, if I forget something, uh, I can get it right away. So I'm not sure if I remember if you can actually mine in in the pocket dimension uh we're gonna try it though if it doesn't work um but i'm pretty sure i remember doing the uh the wither ether gas in a compact machine in my ocean block so let's see let's put it a couple up off the ground there we go. Um, yeah, that looks right. And then if we just put these guys down. I don't know how those guys face, but we can always turn them. Aha, uh -huh. you can see the particles, they lined up just perfectly, placing them like that. Uh, so you can see all the particles, they are connected to the ore laser face. And uh, we can put our little upgrades in there. And... Nice. So we can put our ender chest here. Get you away. Um, the ore laser base, I don't think, takes power. You only have to power these guys. Uh, so I'm going to figure out a way to... I guess we could go underneath, just make a little box, yeah it doesn't really need to connect after that, we could just pop you on and hook you up to, we want the extreme reactor because that's the one, oh look it's already working. Are we getting stuff? Um, that's the only thing. I think it's going to give us the raw ore, like the iron ore, like this. Uh, so we'll probably have to set up some type of automation to, to process it differently. Um, I do, oh look, uh, I think we have to, this will just get us normal stuff, but you can put, uh, in the ore laser base, lenses uh is this where the lenses yes this is where lenses can go oh and i guess you can put uh, things over here hmm. okay at industrial uh, actually let's do add-on i think that'd be less confusing we can get some more upgrades for this guy Oh, yeah. I do definitely want to... Oh. Oh, no. Uh, it will not take a speed. It will take processing and efficiency. Uh, but not speed for some reason. 
Okay, so we can adjust what we get from here. Uh, the orange, orange, uh, by putting different lasers in here. Uh, I would like to get the brown laser lens uh, because you can increase your iron and, and I need lots and lots of iron. So I think I might put uh, some brown ones in there. Actually, let's look at all the lenses. Uh, get white and do use so the laser drill will get you iridium chunks nether quartz but you have to be in the nether for this so uh we'll see how this one goes and if it's successful <laughs> and we know what we're doing we might go put something in the nether uh just to get ancient debris uh nether quartz because those I have to mine manually right now. That's like the only two. So you could increase your iridium. I don't really think I need more iridium. So that's not something I want to do. Um, laser drill items. That gets you copper. I don't need any more copper. Magenta. Um, doesn't have. Uh, I don't see um, anything under the laser drill for that. Oh, this one gets you diamond ore, a light blue one, or uh, Certus Quartz. Uh, we might want to put a light blue and at least one or two browns, maybe even three browns. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and add that one to it. What will the yellow get? Gold. Ooh, gold would be nice. It also gets sulfur and niter, uh, which we don't really need. Um, so we might want at least a gold. Emerald ore? We don't really have any emeralds at all. It also will get us uranium, uh, which might not be a bad idea to do that one since we're, our power is run off of uranium now. So uh, that pink one doesn't have anything. Silver, we don't really have a lot of silver. It looks like uh, the gray one is the only, <laughs> that's the only thing we have. Uh, we could get more tin. Really interested in mainly the iron and diamonds. But nothing for cyan. The purple one is the one that's used for the fluids. Lead. Blue. It's sapphire and lapis. We already know the brown. The green one doesn't have anything. The red will be redstone. Um, oh boy. Redstone would be nice too. And coal. Um, so I think what I would do is get two brown laser lenses and then one of each of these. Does that sound like a good answer? Uh, I don't really know if I need the emeralds. I could always go trade for it, but ah, uh, yeah, I forgot to do it. Ooh, um, how do I, okay, output, we want to push up top. Okay, there we go. Um, the only bad thing is I can't, I haven't automated these lenses, so I'm going to have to actually go and do the stuff, do the stuff with things. Uh, 
Well, that didn't, I thought I would need more uh, materials than that. So let's get out of here and go see about these lenses. This the one. Yes. All right, let's go in here and see about, because the, the lenses are made in the dissolution chamber. I think it's just like a piece of glass. How do you make, how do you make a, a four light gray and a brown dye? Ooh. don't have any brown dye. Oh, you know what I never ever did? Let's see, brown dye. How do you make that? You can make it with just the mystical brown petals, which is very good uh, because, <laughs> yeah, I don't have any cocoa beans going or anything. All right, so let's get out of here. I'm going to go gather up the different dyes I needed, <laughs> I need for this, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so I got all the stuff. It's last paint, so we should be able to get this done, uh, hopefully. Get the one of you. Um, well, you know, go, bro. Oh, it also takes latex. I did not see that. Let's get a bucket. Oh, that should get us four. Uh, oh. It already made it. Oh, and it's just getting sucked up into the system. I uh, guess that's okay. Oops. Looks like we got just enough panes. Oh, um. Uh, and last one so hopefully this will get us all the stuff and things um yeah let's get out of here and get into our other one i need to put signs on here indicating which ones are which ah get me out of there Okay, so let's get our lens. Oh, and I can't even click out. All right, so boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and that should be, I wonder if I could put multiple processing tiers in here. Or if it's just the one. Well, that would be good to know. Let's do processing. Let's experiment <laughs> just for a minute. Oh, it might be messing up because I have the latex in there. Can you go? It does go. Um, I don't know if that does anything. Sissy. All right, well, let's put another one.
because why not? I don't know if that's doing anything, uh, but it can't hurt, right? Um, but we're getting the stuff and things, so it's all good. Let's see what kind of stuff are we getting for. Uh -huh. We get sulfur, sapphire, niter, lapis. We already got an emerald ore. Nice. Uh, we got uh, the five iron ore is what I mind. Uh, so that's not. We haven't even gotten an iron yet. That's sad. Uh, ruby and redstone. I don't know what to do with the rubies, sapphires. Oh. What can we do with these? What is that? Oh. Uh. oh. Oh, I hate it that you can't get out of there. In the pulverizer, you get two rubies. In the induction smelter, you get one ruby. So we definitely want... What are the rubies used for? Making a gem cast? Molding? Oh, you can use it in a lapidary dynamo. Or you can make blocks of rubies, or you can make ruby dust, which isn't used in anything. Huh. Okay, so it's basically a <laughs> lapidary dynamo food. So this, this is really good. I did the Glyph of Interact because I was trying to use my spell turret to automate the flux. Uh, and it did not work. <laughs> it does, it, I think it just right clicks. Um, so I don't know how you could automate that. With, with the spell turret. Uh, also, I installed uh, the add-ons to uh, the little drink me farm. <laughs> um, it, it appears to be working a lot better. <laughs> I don't necessarily think that it's going to stop the Drigmies from growing the grass. I think it's just going to prolong it. Uh, so I'll probably still have to go down there and check every once in a while and clear away the grass, but it definitely did improve <laughs> the amount of time it takes to, to for the Drigmies to get the grass to grow. Oh! I forgot completely about it. Oh, I went right now to it this time. Um, yeah, I I wanted to turn the blazes on for a little while. I forgot it running. <laughs> Oops. So, yeah, I used up quite a bit of my jelly babies over here. That's all right. I wanted I wanted the blaze rods. Um, yeah, I don't have access to my stuff down here. I was gonna show you and uh, see how many blaze rods we have now. And a doot and a doot. So how many do we have? Oh, we got four point four k. So I did leave it running for a little bit. Look at all these. What are the blaze heads for? Uh, can we do anything with these? 
you you could put them in a casting basin you can melt them down to blazing blood and you can make biofuel out of them huh that's whack i thought maybe i could melt them down for uh, for more blades or outfits <laughs> but no now i got another item that i don't know i have to store what in that stack okay there it is awesome well we got our or a laser drill dually the wop um i believe that you can add more uh, laser drills to that setup to i guess increase the speed uh, at which you can mine uh, so that might be a thing later on to, to try to do so yeah let's go let's go have a look do do do, do. uh it's pretty pretty this basic setup <laughs> i don't like sitting up over there uh let's see is this good there we go uh so we have it we have our ore <laughs> our ore laser base is getting us stuff and things and hopefully we'll be able to get uh lots more stuff and things and yeah anyway uh thank you for watching and we'll see you next time Bye-bye.